When water broke through a 40 metre length of seawall at St Clair, it required about half a million dollars to fix. Contractors dumped 2,000 tonnes of rocks to shore up the shore, with the area left off limits to the public. A report from DC staff to a committee said specialist advice had been sought from 11 companies in New Zealand and overseas. There was a shortlist of three and following failures so far, none had a previous involvement. Councillor Lee Vandevis wanted somewhere to lay the blame but could not find it in the report. None of these issues mention responsibility. None of these issues mention the possibility of uh, faulty design, faulty construction. Mayor Dave Cull responded it would be better to find out exactly what had happened first. Contrary to uh, Councillor Vanvis's suggestion that we should be looking for responsibility, we should be looking for the facts first. I think we should be having a trial before we have a hang. He suggested the situation may be more complex than looking for who was responsible. It may turn out that this was designed within the parameters of engineering science at the time and if that's the case then it failed and we move on and we sort the problems out into the future rather than uh, luridly dwelling on uh, the past and trying to point fingers at people. After a period of debate the committee accepted the need for the review. Staff say it could cost up to $150,000 and a firm to run it appointed within a fortnight. There will be a much greater cost to do the work the review is bound to suggest, something that will have to be borne by Dunedin ratepayers in years to come. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.